What is up, everybody? Welcome to George Reviews. I am your host, the 80s Transformers fan. Today, the 80s Transformer fan will be taking a look at G.I. Joe classified figures. This is a versus battle. This is more of an unboxing and just comparison head to head of these two figures. Mostly because Hasbro has just announced yet another Snake Eyes and it's sparking controversy, debate. Some people are very happy. Some people are very upset that we're getting another Snake Eyes. And my thing is, you don't have to buy it. So you don't have to get upset. You know what I'm saying? You just let it ride. And maybe if enough people don't buy it, I can get it on clearance. Speaking of clearance, got these guys on clearance. Uh, I think I got this guy off Amazon on clearance. I think he normally retail between 42 and 45 bucks. I know I got him for like 32 bucks. And this one, about a month or so ago, I heard about it on social media that uh, Target had this guy on clearance. I know he's readily available. I seen him at Walmart. Uh, still, still saw him at Walmart today at regular price. But Target had this guy on clearance and Tiger Force Duke with the um, the motorcycle. And I wound up grabbing that one too, but this guy was like 20 bucks, and I got the wolf, got another snake eyes, more weapons and stuff, so I uh, was happy to get it. And respectively in the line, this one is number 30, and this is number 52, so um, a few figures in between snake eye drops, but um, speaking of snake eye drops, this is, I believe, the fourth one and the fifth one we got in the line, and that's why everybody was kind of... Um, upset that we got another snake eyes the desert um commando snake eyes the original release of snake eyes was i believe a hasbro exclusive or some type of exclusive and i know i didn't get it and a lot of people didn't get it and it goes for like over 100 bucks now it's like snake eyes with like the weapons rack he comes with like a ton of accessories and then second release of snake eyes is this figure i, I reviewed this guy he sort of a take on a second vintage release of snake eyes from the 80s uh, very cool snake eyes and if you only have this one i still think this is pretty good he has his flaws like he was a little bit floppy uh and the knife won't quite go into the holster sheath right here for the snake knife eyes. so he was like the second release then we got like the Fortnite release of snake eyes which was kind of a use of this mold not counting the movie guys because i think it's been two movie snake eye releases um in this line don't quote me on that i didn't pick up any of those they're still like on clearance anywhere you go you can still get the movie version of snake eyes on clearance but i had this guy and i felt like i didn't need another one at the time then after the fortnite snake eyes i believe this one comes in at four and this one is five and then the one that's currently available now at walmart if you can find them the vintage car back version is uh meant to resemble the first vintage release of snake eyes which i thought this guy was sort of supposed to pull off that look with the goggles on or whatever but i guess that one's even more vintage i don't know if they use some of the parts body style or even the head off of this guy i don't know i don't have that one if i see him i'll pick him up just because of the vintage card back then i have like four snake eyes and again that's that's sort of the complaint of people collecting this line like move on to another character but again like i said you don't have to buy you can leave it right there so it can go on clearance like this guy <laughs> i can get them on sale Here. so and so on let's get these guys open take a look seniority rules let's get this guy open top or bottom bottom let's do the bottom two pieces of tape slide this guy out further in the box Snake eyes. I don't see any tie down. Here's our figure out. September. This is my second animal in the line. My first was the croc. Timber's head and all the accessories. Up next is the one that's hidden in the box, and I hope it's not. <laughs> hope Snake Eyes is in this box. That's another thing with the packages you can't see. People return them and put all sorts of clever things in the box. So here we go. <sighs> Open it up, and yet we have Snake Eyes and Timber, and an additional box inside for accessory. Oh, this is cool. I mean, it wasted more. Uh, material but uh still cool nothing further in the box and now this guy is tied down i guess to help prevent theft because you can't see in the box but people just take them home and swap them out anyway all right here we go immediately like i don't know about this outfit it looks a little weird it's 
more of a gray than black. And timber. Bam. All right, now for this little inner box, it has like a little keypad, like you gotta unlock it, a security code or something, to get into like this little case, look like some carrying handles right there, some hinges or whatever, it's kinda cool, it's cool. It's not, not special, but it's just cool. Bam, I guess we enter the code, and we have accessories, tissue paper first. I'm going to guess this is the ultimate head. Rip that open, and it's, it's everything. It's, the alternate face plate right there and we get this gun we don't want to get them confused we're gonna put this one over here we get this gun wow it's a lot going on with this thing and I don't know my gun so anybody think that I do uh, it's a no so it's just this gun ba 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 death kill a uh, extra hand choppy chop 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 and last but not least we get a hand with a throwing star in it I guess they figured we'd lose this throwing star if they made it independently, but it is molded to the hand. And that is it. And in the box, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Got some more it all out. Sword. I forgot already. The sheath anyway, so I guess the sword is in there. Much. What's in here? Yet another gun. Wow. I guess I should have known from the box. And here we have a harpoon gun. And again, I assume this was padding. I was going to discard this stuff. <laughs> Open this up. This should be the sword that goes in the sheath. Yep, and here we go. Bam, looks like the original sword from the second release, or maybe the first release as well. Okay, let's take a look at our Alpha Commando. Snake eyes, bring them a little bit closer. First things first, take a look at his head. He's wearing goggles, sort of like the very first vintage figure. Not a lot going on with it, and it's not supposed to be. This is sort of like his silent, stealthy, assassin look. He's wearing a tactical vest here. There's a lot of molded in detail on it. Looks amazing. A couple straps, a couple belts. There's a pouch that is connected to it. It's not meant to be connected, actually, but it's all one sculpt. And I don't think this vest is removable. You can kind of move it at the shoulders, get it down a little bit, and see some molding detail underneath. I believe this thing is glued on because the midsection does not float or move around at all. Besides that, new to this snake eyes as opposed to the previous version that I reviewed, there is some ribbing or striping uh, molded into the outfit or uniform that he's wearing all the way down to his wrist. It looks like the same black hands and gloves, a little bit of padding on the knuckles right there both hands have gripping trigger fingers Coming i believe down. that these legs are actually a little bit different than the second release of snake eyes because he has this pouch here i don't think it's present on the other ones these are definitely new knee pads with the lines down the middle and coming to the boots new boots he sort of has like I would say combat boots on. I don't know exactly what these are but these are new boots even the bottom of the boot is painted gray which is cool Backside. Okay. Let's take a look at his articulation. Snake eyes can look up this far. He can look down this far. Most of this is at the shoulder, the neck at the shoulders right there. Head 360s. And we get his arms to the side up this far. We're going to take this one for a spin. Full 360 out of that. He has a butterfly joint in here. It's more useful coming out like this than it is coming in like this. Not a whole lot coming back across his chest. And, and I don't think it's interference from this little strap. I think it just doesn't come in that well. It should be enough to have a two-hand grip on the sword, even though he doesn't come with a sword. But returning to his shoulder, 360 at the deltoid muscle. <laughs> or is that the bicep swivel? I don't know. He's double jointed at the elbow. We can get this much out of it coming down to his wrist. We got a up and down hinge right there and a full 360. I don't know if it in and out. Look, does that. And far as the ab, I don't think there's anything present at the abdomen under here. And if it is, it's completely hindered by the vest, the legs. We get the drop down hips. And we can pull him out this much. His um gear is sort of hindering his articulation. Not sort of, it's hindering his articulation on this side. Like that I guess you can work around it a little bit drop the hips back up let's get some front kick out of this back kick 
Again, well, I guess we got to drop down this hip, get a little bit more out of it. This is what we get out of that. Upper thigh swivel should be there. Yep. And coming to his knee, double hinge knee. Great range of motion out of that. Has a boot cut right here. And coming to his ankle, it comes forward about that much. Back that far. I think this padding is getting away in the articulation a little bit. And he has the rocker. Another thing of note. The holsters down here on his legs. First I thought they were glued on. They're not. They're just secured much more tightly than the previous version of Snake Eyes. These are the same holsters that the second version released by Hasbro in the classified line has. So that is that for articulation. On to accessories. I'm going to start with this giant knife. It's an all black plastic with some gray spray paint gunmetal for the blade right there. Has a serrated edge down here. Nothing special, but it gets the job done. He has a holster right here. And I'm not sure if it goes in this way. That's a tight fit. But it goes all the way in. Or I'm trying to pull out and the paint's going to come off doing that, definitely. Okay. Turn around this way. So well it fits in his hand. Uh, this way. No problem. Fits in his hand just fine. It's not, the it's not small pistol right here. Bam, get this in his hand. Wiggle it to the side and get it on his trigger finger. And pop, 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 pop. Right there. Then we have the suppressor. They can go at the end right here. And now it's right there. And we can holster this weapon and the suppressor. Just like the second release of Snake Eyes. Slot it right in here. And we we'll take his pistol. And we can get around this little pouch right here. And we just put that right there. Now he can hold three of his items. Then he comes with two fully automatic submachine gun. Machine gun and submachine gun right here. Uh, I believe this clip is removable. Which is very cool, but like, man, if you lose this, it's just ruined. And I don't know how you can get another clip without another figure. And let's get it a little bit closer. Just the clip. Nothing really special, but it's cool that it comes out. Again, I wish I knew these guns, but I'm not a gun enthusiast like that. And I didn't bother to look it up to see. But here it is. Get in his hand, get in his right hand. Again, he has a trigger space for his trigger finger. Okay, there we go. We got the trigger finger in the trigger space because there's no actual trigger. And we can go. This, this is the gun I have been waiting for. This is definitely going with my um, second release snake eyes right here. Believe this is an Uzi. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. And the clip on this one is not removable. But this is the weapon we saw, like the second version with. Um, and was it 1985 release? I don't know. Slide in his hand. His finger in the trigger. And now this guy can do, will, and murder, death, kill, cobra, officers, troopers, the lower ranking guys. Because none of the top guys are probably going to get killed. <laughs> And he looks fantastic. All right, I don't see any other places to store the rest of these weapons. Like, they don't clip onto them. But it's nice if they had a strap or something. He can kind of, like, walk with it strapped across here or across his back or something like that. That would have been cool. That is pretty much it for this Snake Eyes. We're going to move on to his version of Timber. Okay, here is Timber. And you know what? I'm going to just do both the wolves because it's, it's going to be the same thing except for the paint and um, when i open up the package this version had the tail up like this and i kind of was distinguishing them like this i guess this is a tag mode but you got the tail up and down since it's on the ball joint but we're going to roll with it like this we're going to distinguish the two other than color with one tail up one tail down let's bring timber closer to the camera take a look the scope looks amazing on the face and throughout the body as well and he almost looks alive like they've got some type of little reflective Thing going on with the eyes. I don't know how well it's coming across on the camera, but um, it's just an amazing job they did with the eyes right here on the wolf. He's sporting um, two scratches. I would say four, two at the top and two at the bottom, but I guess it's from the same swipe. And because of the shape of his face, it kind of left a little gap in there. So a lot of shading, little apps going on. You see a little brown on his snout, black nose. This is a closed mouth version. 
the fur molded in is very very nice all over the figure a little bit more brown right here and then the back portion right there looks great little underbelly is detailed all the way around we see the painted pads on his foot we see his little toenails painted as well cool i mean like it's, it's a full figure it's not just like a little static companion piece so let's check him out check out his head he can look left and right, I'm pretty sure, 360. It is on a ball joint, just like a standard figure head. He can look up that far and down that far without moving the neck piece. Then we can move the neck piece down this far and back up that far, which is cool. I don't know if this, this doesn't really turn side to side. It moves just a little bit side to side because of the angular fit. It won't move more than that. And coming to his midsection, he can move it side to side this far. Maybe get a better look if I do it from the bottom. Or from the top have that much in it and it rotates a little bit same thing it will ro rotate more except for the shape oval shape of the body coming to the tail we got the up and down and full 360 and we do not want to ever break this off because it'll be totally ruined coming to the front paws at what is the shoulder you can see a ball joint in there so these will pop off without breaking for you um, the leg come up this far. I'm pretty sure the 360, but I'm not going to force it and loosen up that hinge in there. But I'm pretty sure 360 back this far. Guess so we can get some leaping out of it. Back that far. And then right here at the elbow. Get it come forward this far. Then he has another articulation down there. I don't even know what this is, but it articulates right there. I don't even think a real dog articulates right there, but it does for posing. And then what would be like the wrist joint or whatever, this paw 360, and it has a front and back to it. I'm pretty sure it carries over to that one. Then the, the hind legs, pretty much the same thing. It's different because of the shape of the legs and where they are on the body, but it open up this far, the leg to come up this far. Oh, we this one 360 is not really hindered. Um, the knee bend, it's not a lot in this part. Maybe it's just really stiff. Okay, we get this much out of right there. Let's pop that back. Then this elbow back here, rear elbow. I don't know what this thing is. You can get it to come forward a lot. And it's as far back as it goes. And the front part goes front and back. And it rocks and it 360. So this is a fully articulated separate action figure in this set. And also with this figure, we get an interchangeable head. Pop. And there is that ball joint. And here is our more feral, growling, snarling head. And this is the hole and this is the peg. Let me get it on here first try. It's kind of moving around on me. So I'm trying to push it in, and I don't want to, like, bend it or break it. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm just being nervous or too cautious or it's just it's bouncing around. All right, I think I got on there this time. It's not going to come off. It really it didn't pop on there. And that was a little bit concerning because I like to hear it, to know it's on there and not somewhere in the middle. But here is the more feral face. You can see the white teeth, the painted inside of the mouth. Um, I guess there's a little bit of a molded tongue in there. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a molded in tongue. A little bit of molding to the roof of the mouth as well. And I'm pretty sure it fo follows over to both our wolves. So coming over here to the white wolf version, let's take a look at this guy. I'm not going to go over the details. He's just all white or, or cream coated plastic. Let me see if I might have too much light on this. Bring it down. Okay, he has uh, the exact same molded details, the exact same guy. I believe this articulation is the same. I know on a lot of the packages or a lot of the promos, they had like, where well, this guy was like scratching his ear or something like that, and it was supposed to be so cool. Uh, but I think they both do it. They feel like the exact same figure. And bringing this guy closer, you can see the scratch a little bit more defined because of the color of the wolf. But this one, like, I don't know. I don't think it looks cooler over here. It might be just my imagination, but it looks like it's two paint apps in the scratch, and over here is just one. But it could just be um, the depression in the plastic. Still looks cooler over here. All right, and, um, and again, it's the exact same thing. I'm not going to go over uh, articulation. Just going to get this head popped off and get this head popped on.
I right, had the same problem, um, same figure, I guess. Put it on a secondary head because I don't want to like bend or break that neck peg and then it won't reach out as far enough to put interchange the heads. I think once this review is over, I'm going to leave one with the um, closed mouth and one with the growling mouth. You know, I'll probably decide towards the end, but I'm not going to keep changing that out and kind of lose the ability to put the head on or swap it out. So here we go. Um, open mouth. I don't know if the paint job is better or what, but these teeth look a little bit more design, better design. I think the paint job over here is a little bit better. Or my mind might be playing tricks on me. Again, the exact same figure, exact same toy. It's up to one. It's up to you which one you like better. I like this one because this is the original color that I was used to as a kid or close to it anyway. It has a lot more detail, obviously, but. And these guys can just go at it. Okay, next up is our, I guess this guy's just snake eyes with white timber. He's just snake eyes and timber on the package. But he looks more like a commando. This is the exact same figure as this guy. Just um, a repaint, redeco. You know, they poured different plastic, but the exact same figure and just like the other figure like his accessories his on body accessories are a lot tighter like this doesn't float around as much it's not as loose as the one on this guy like this thing just moves everywhere these belts are everywhere easily to the touch not so much over here and I almost thought these things were glued on but they're not they just stick a lot better in their positioning I guess like they just made a couple Changes all the way down to the boots. Now the boots are different. He has on the standard G.I. Joe military boots that comes on a few different figures with the laces in the front and not this guy. More ninja-ish. And apparently he's wearing a bigger style size boot. Let's see if they're the exact same height. Are they? I mean with a few changes something might change but pretty much they're the same height, same figure. So if you've seen this figure, uh, you got the same thing going on here. So I'm just going to skip the articulation on this guy because he has a ton of accessories to get to okay accessories we're going to start with what's the same i gonna start with the sheath this is the same sheath for the sword from the previous release and the same sword just done in a different deck i don't know if it's better i, I like the blade being gunmetal gray i'm not i don't know if it's actually better but it's different i guess i looked at the other one for a long time and then the brown brings out the detailing and the pouch so sort of like it's leather or whatnot. Blade, the hilt of the blade. And Let's bring out the previous version again. Exact same, just different paint, different detail in the paint. Back still, yeah. We can store this on this back. We're gonna get one weapon loaded up. It goes through the strap and pegs into the hole in this back right there. And the paint on the brown on this sword sheath is just paint. It's all black. You can tell by this peg right here that I'm struggling to get into his yeah. back. Then he comes with a small caliber pistol. I don't know, I don't know if I want to call it small caliber. But um, I stuck the silencer on it already. The clip does not come out, thank goodness, because that thing would get lost. This is a different pistol than a smaller caliber pistol. that came with the exact same mold as Snake Eyes right there. I don't know what this is, but it had the whole thing. And we can get it in his hand fairly easily. Should go in there fairly easily. Kind of twist it to the side. And turn it out here, then turn it back onto the trigger finger. And there he is with this uh, 9 millimeter. Then we can add the suppressor. And now we got, let's get this thing sheathed and all put away. So it'll be just a little bit less I lose during this video. Slide this in here. Bam, just like the previous figure. But this gun kind of, oh no, there it is. It went in. I just had to push it down a little bit more. I thought it was going to float around on me by being a different size. Right about nice. He's holding five of his accessories, but we still got a ton to go. Um, I'm going to start with this because I'm going to come back to this. This is some type of crossbow thing or whatever. And it actually uh, made it detach, which is very, very cool. So you can pretend like he's firing it. And they have a hole for a string on both of these. So you can connect the string and maybe pull himself up or stab somebody and reel them in or something like that. It has a scope on it. Everything a little bit more than detail. Bam. Goes in his hands. Let's see how well this articulation can kind of get two hands on it. Yep. Man, he get his hand all the way down here. No problem. 
holding the weapons no problem whatsoever but I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna store anywhere on his body or anything like that I'm not even gonna try and move on to the next accessories all right I have no clue what this thing is no clue but it looks cool it's, it's like he has the scope and what is this the flashlight down here so he can really find you and see he has the little grip right here that steadies it while he's firing it you can actually see a little bit of a trigger down here right here and the clip goes in back here which is weird I totally don't know what gun this is you think it would go like right there but it goes right there and I just demonstrated it's removable all right so we saved just a fraction of time just put it in his hand he got his finger on the trigger and that works very well and now we have this thing I I don't know. I think I should know what this one is. Sort of looks like an updated M16 or something like that. Has a sight on it right here, scope, whatever. Uh, and the clip comes out. I think it's the same clip, same clip twice. Comes out. Bam. Nice molding and detail. It would have been cool if they hit it with just a little bit of paint. So now he's carrying seven accessories. We got him dual wielding his machine guns. Very bad ass right there indeed. <laughs> he looks cool. I think this might be my favorite gun. I don't know what this is. Somebody tell me what is this thing right here. Murder, death, kill. <laughs> and the MDK doesn't stop there. We have the Uzi showing up again. I'm just keep saying like I know exactly what it is. I think. And this thing right here can also hold the silencer. I think only two of the weapons can hold the silencer. Or you can add the silencer to them. And this is one of them. right there and this gun right here i should know what this is but i don't this is like from call of duty i've seen it i've unlocked it or whatever Let's see if the clip and the clip comes out we don't need this thing is just too small you know what i mean I, i'm not trying to lose this i might just glue it in to be done with it. this is awesome but not awesome at the same time it kind of clicks when you put it in the bottom listen like wow that, that's pretty cool so let's get these guns in his hand so he can do a wheel all right, here is Snake Eyes dual wielding these guns. I don't know which set or which guns I like best. He looks cool with these smaller semi-automatics or automatic guns, and he looks cool with the larger ones as well. This one's these seem like it's more suited to his character or to him running around just like real stealthily ninja-like taking people out. But they both both sets of guns look really good on this guy. And I think this is what you really get when you get this version. You get the weapons accessories. It's like a weapon pack with the dog if you didn't catch it already in some other release. If you so didn't. continuing Snake Eye's endless run of accessories, he has interchangeable hands. One is like this chopping hand, and inside the palm is like this little ninja grip. I don't know if this is like for climbing or just for maiming somebody, like shh, swiping in the fight. I think it's for climbing or whatever, but he only gets one hand with this, so I don't know. And coming over to his left hand, he gets the closed fist with the throwing star. The star has a little bit of gunmetal gray paint on it right there. And it's molded into his hand, I guess, so wouldn't nobody lose it. But you can pretend like he's throwing it. Which is very cool. And last but not least, he has this poncho scarf thing or whatever. You can just smash it over the top of his head. And because of the grenades, it really doesn't lay flat to his chest. And I'm but it is completely removable if you wanted to. And I don't think it lays much better. It lays a little bit better. So if you wanted to, you could just remove this whole grenade belt. Okay, here are our two snake eyes side by side. And it seems like this one should be the commando snake eyes. I don't know. And this one looks a little bit taller, but I think it's just the size of the head or helmet he has on. But he might be just a hair tall. Yeah, I think he's just a hair taller. So I'm going back to back. And yeah, close enough though. And let's see if we can swap heads. And nope, look, look, this it's two different pegs. That really sucks. I mean, that really sucks. I, I you probably could force this one down on here, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to stretch it out. But these are two different pegs that really sucks. I really sure think that's a bummer that you couldn't swap heads. I was really hoping to do some kit bashing a little bit with these guys or whatever. I guess you got to live with two straight up different versions. All right, to declare a clear cut winner in today's versus battle between box set Snake Eyes and Timber, we're going to weigh in on the overall aesthetic articulation and accessories and i gotta tell you the version that comes with the white timber has him beat in accessories clearly 
The Alpha Commando version comes with less accessories, but the Timber, which is um, almost an extra figure, he is much better. Even though it's just a paint job, the paint job is much better than the other version of Timber. So that's a huge boost in his accessories. But the White Timber Snake Eyes comes with so much, I got to give him the edge. And then they went the extra mile to give him this harpoon gun. I told you we would revisit this. He gets this like this harpoon gun that you can add your own string, which I have done. And the harpoon is detachable and you can kind of like pretend like you're firing it. You can use it for climbing. You can use it to wrap up another figure. So that's one to nothing. Then when we come to articulation, it's pretty much the same body, but the tactical vest on the Alpha Commando version limits his articulation at the abdomen. So that's another win. And then the final thing is aesthetics. I didn't think this guy would be that cool because I didn't think I would like this like weird green color of the outfit and then like the little reuse of this scarf thing i thought i wasn't gonna like it but it actually looks good it's not the snake eyes that i'm used to but um i think he has the slight edge and looks as well so the clear winner is the snake eyes two pack with the white wood version and if you throw in the fact that i got this thing on clearance he's hands down the winner of this versus battle and so i want to thank everybody for watching another episode of george reviews the reviews where every toy has a story